Hey guys, this is Zek here. Uh, this is just a quick video of me building the Scarax Kamigami robot from Mattel. They sent this to me to show it off to you guys. Uh, these guys, these things are really cool. Uh, if you want to see what this thing is actually all about, you can click the I in the top right to go look at the, my main video on it. This video is just me showing you how the Scarax is built because it's a really cool process. So uh, stick around if you want to watch it built. If you actually want to see what it does, go watch my other video. So first things first, what I like to do is open your bag of the pins and just pour them in that little slot that they came in and try and not fling them everywhere there we go just got those all in there and having a just a little pencil nearby really helped me with my last one to poke out the little holes and stuff and uh, make sure just get to reach in there where you can't actually reach so get a pencil that'll help you out too so i'm gonna set this off to the side we're going to open this up again Let's see what the first step is. So we're going to make the chassis first is what it's telling us. So it says punch out all the parts. So let's do that real quick. I'll just show you what it looks like in real time and I'll speed up the rest. But like I said in the main video, these things punch out really easy. You don't have to worry too much about them ripping or anything because it's plastic, not paper. Uh, just don't go too crazy and they'll pop right out. I'm just nervous of doing it on camera now. <laughs> there we go. And they pop out. And so, uh, like I said in the main video, these are a hard plastic and then like a kind of bendy plastic in between. So they actually can flex and fold like origami. So let's punch out all these other ones real quick. All right, so those are all punched out now. And I just noticed something that I did not notice on my first build of this. That material between these that's flexible is not plastic. It's actually mesh. It's like a fabric. And there's a little piece on here to like demonstrate it. These are plastic pieces held together by fabric. That's why they fold so well. That's crazy, I never noticed that. All right, so we got all the pieces punched out. So what's next? So it tells us to hold it like this. So you can see on here it says to match up the letters. So I can actually zoom in to get a better look. So put the D on the D, the A on the A, B on the B, and the C on the C. And just make sure they're facing the right way. So we're holding it like this. You can see it going down that way. So we have the D and the A. This is the D and the A, so it says to just slot it in back here. And then do the same thing with the other one. So the B and the C lines up, just like that. So then we put our first pins in. So I'm gonna grab one off the side here. And it's telling you on that screen that it should be like this. Don't separate them. And you just push it in. That's all you do. So you find the hole. And push it in. Let's make sure your thing's pushing all the way first, though. Push it in the hole, and then you hear it snap. Like that. And now that is never coming out. <laughs> so make sure you have the right spot first before you set it in there forever. There you go. So we do the other side. So then we take these guys. So we still have it oriented like this in the picture, just like a Lego instruction. And it had to make sure the silver pieces are facing towards the inside. So, sorry, my camera does not want to focus on both of these things at the same time. This guy's gonna go in here. And this guy is going to go in the other way like that and it also tells us to uh put two pins in so we'll do that real quick so these are kind of hard to get in there because you have to go around this bar but there's one there's two so next we're going to take these long pieces and they're identical doesn't matter which one you get 
and you're going to fold them like that. So you fold it so it has like an L shape, like that. This is kind of tricky to do, but that little upside down V right there, little arrow, that's what you're going to put that into. So make sure it's bent, and you're going to slot it in, and it'll click when it goes in. There it goes. Clicked in. And then do the same thing on the other side. It's only hard to do because it, it the whole thing bends, so I feel like I'm just going to break it, so I'm trying not to do that. Also helps you push from the other side, too. Yeah, this is definitely the hardest part of the entire thing. <laughs> this is like a main support thing, too, so it's got to be kind of precise. There we go. Got it in. So now you take the other long piece and do the same thing. There it goes. So both sides are in. So now that's all connected. If you hear some more noise now, my heater just kicked on because it's starting to get really cold here. All right, so now we're going to take... Not this guy, but this guy. <laughs> And it tells us to take this piece and fold it down. And we're going to put a pin right there. Just like this. There you go. So now it's folded in. Then it's going to tell us to bend this piece down. Like that. So it's kind of like an L shape like the last piece was. And then this is going to go into that little L shape on the A right there. So the A goes to the A. And it snaps in too. There we go. And then tells us to put it in the other side. So the B goes to the B. And there we go. So that's snapped in. Is it all snapped in? Yeah, I think it's good. <laughs> All right, now this tells us to take the other piece like that and do the same thing. I'm gonna fold that in, take a pin, and pin it in, just like that. And do the same thing. I'm gonna fold in that bottom part to make that L shape. I'm gonna put the D to the D, C to the C. So like this. There we go, got that in. And the other side. There we go. So now, we've got the beginnings of some legs here. So now we attach the other feet. So we have an A foot, a B foot, a C foot, and a D foot. So right now we're gonna take the A and the B. The B is going to slot into that little slot in the plastic right there. It's gonna go right there. Just like that. And the A is gonna go in that first slot. Just like that. And then we're gonna put a pin in both of those. So pin and pin. All right. Now we do the same thing for the other side. So C is going back here, and D goes in the front. And then we pin those in. These things are so satisfying to click in. So good. All right, so here's the fun part. Now we've got to fold all six feet in. This is kind of tricky. This was definitely one of those times where I had to zoom in on the picture and actually get some help and see what I'm doing try and show you on this one back here. So it's gonna go... It's not really a good way to show it. <laughs> you can see all the pieces in there. It's gonna fold in every one of those pieces. And it's gonna fold all the way like that. And then the pen's gonna connect these two guys. So it's gonna go all the way down like that. So let's see if I can do this one. I'm gonna fold it in, just like that. 
take the pin and you have to like keep pressure on it because it does not want to stay together. And then make sure you push it together. There you go. So now that's a foot. And do the same thing with each one of those. There's one side. All right, last one. So now he's got six little feet. So now for each one of these feet, they're going to slot in right there to a little peg right next to it. Or not the peg, but a little slot. And it pushes in and clicks like that. And that little top part's gonna fold over and we're gonna put a pin right in that. Just like that. So now that foot is secured to the leg part here and it is ready to go. So do that with each of the other six feet. Five feet. I can count. Alright, last one. So now all the feet are secured. And now we actually connect it to the wheel down here. It's kind of tricky to do, but you have to take that part we folded a long time ago and line it up with that hole. And it's kind of hard to get your finger in there, so I just take a pencil or something as I pop it back in. There you go. Nope. Stay on there. And then you can just push it in. Like that. And now that is secured to the wheel. Same thing on the other side. Boom. So now that is connected to the wheel. And now it's all one little locomotion kind of thing. Pretty cool. And that's it. We're done with the chassis itself. So theoretically, we're done. We could just have this thing run around like this, but that's no fun. We have to have creepy scorpion parts on top of it. So let's see. So we don't punch all the pieces out first, like for the chassis. Set him back here. So first thing we need is, looks like the tail. So that looks like this part right here. So this part, is like they're kind of like stickers really thick plastic stickers but they're still uh still have to punch them out or you still have to rip them off the little spots just like the other ones but it's also sticky on some plastic there and again just be careful like it's not like i said it's not paper or anything so you're not going to rip it that easily but if you go too fast you could rip it so there's this gross tail part i don't like scorpions whatsoever by the way I hate scorpions. Uh, so before I fold this, I can see there's a bunch of spots that's going to need pens later. I'm actually just going to take my pencil and pop out all those holes and pull all those little tags out and save me the trouble from for later. <laughs> That's going to save me a lot of headache in the long run. It's really hard to get those off once you put it together. Then we just fold it like a weird, creepy shrimp. So we just fold it like this. Yep. Ugh, this is weird. This feels... This really doesn't feel like a shrimp or something. This is gross. I hate, I hate scorpions. So it looks like we need to order this in a certain way. So it looks like... Yeah, they go on top of each other like that. So then, there we go, you can see the holes through there. So, three pins are going to go in here. And I don't like to fold it completely flat. Uh, I like it still to have a little bit of roundness to it, because it makes it look a little bit better than just being a flat 2D thing. Alright, so one creepy shrimp. 
Alright, so now it's t telling us to get this piece. And it's warning us on the screen here to put the glossy side down. So the glossy side, the top that goes on top, not this side. And only crease the blue line and fold it in half. So it needs a little bit of roundness to it like I was talking about. So just crease that and only fold it on that blue part. There we go, just like that. And then sure take our tr trusty pencil and get those out of the way. So it just tells us to fold it in half, just like that. Do we pen it? Oh no. It's gotta go on the stinger tail and then we pen it. This is the stinger, okay. So now we pin this thing. Oh, it moves! <laughs> so it actually has a little articulation, that's cool. I'm making sure that's nice and flat, because that should be flat, because it's the stinger. Alright, so his tail's done, so now we need, looks like this part here. Let's give it the same warning. So glossy side down, only crease the blue line. This has some more things we gotta punch out. Those are impossible to do after you put it on too, trust me. I missed one on the on the beetle and <laughs> I almost had to take the whole thing apart. Alright, so only crease the blue line. And that's his butt. So that's gonna go like that like that and we're gonna pin that so this tail actually has articulation it's creepy I hate scorpions ugh all right throw that over there now we need this big piece so we got a big crab piece uh, it says to flip it over okay don't really need instruction for that Crease and fold all these blue parts. Okay, so this is new to me. I haven't had to do this before. Crease these. This is a lot more origami than the beetle was. Like I said, the beetle is only like three pieces. Alright, those are creased. And then fold all of this. What's the end product here? Ah, okay. So, fold all these lines. And then we're going to fold it in. And then those blue guys right there will peg into the little hole we made right there. It's like this. There we go. There it goes. It popped in. Little click, and we're good. Oh, <laughs> those do come out. Those are his eye holes, I guess. Weird. Alright, so it says crease and fold here. Oh, before I forget, let's get those circles out of there. Alright, and then we're going to plug this into the scorpion. Oh, we gotta fold this. And then it goes on the outside like that, looks like. Yeah, it goes into it. So put this one here. There we go. So there's a little scorpion so far. And that's it. Now we just put it on. Oh, we gotta cap his pincers too. So. What is it telling us here? Yeah, it's telling us to put the sensor on the front. Okay. So this is just gonna go right on top. Just like that, I guess. And we're gonna put two holes on the third one, circling this one. So, how are we doing this? Just like this? Yeah, there we go. So we'll pin this in.
There we go. So then we need the right one. Oh, it's on the bottom. <laughs> Get these guys punched out. All right, this is giving us the warning that do not fold past blue dashed line. Hmm. Okay. So, what is it telling us to do it like? Oh, like this? Like a little burrito? Yep, I had to skip ahead to make sure I didn't miss something, so just leave that to the side now, I guess. And now we take the right arm, pop all the holes out. And this one's telling me with shiny side down, crease and unfold. There's a lot more instructions on this one. This is a lot more complicated than the beetle. All right, shiny side down. Crease. Unfold. Crease and unfold. Crease and unfold all of them? Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. Oh. Did I mess it up? I did mess it up. Whoops. Okay, I went too fast. <laughs> so it says, crease and fold that one, and unfold it. Then it says, crease and fold this one, and unfold it. And then it says to crease and fold it this way. And then unfold it. Yeah, so you get that shape. That makes a lot more sense. And then it says to do something. Oh, fold these little guys in. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's weird. <laughs> I don't know how, like, how many little weird crevices this thing has. Okay, I think we got it. It's pretty complicated. Way more complicated than the beetle. All right, so this is gonna go here. Get the hole and pin it. He's even got little movable pinchers. That's pretty cool, actually. I still hate it. <laughs> I still hate scorpions, but it's pretty cool. Let's get that little flatter. Ugh. All right, so now I do the same thing with the other arm. Two creepy arms now. It's actually color coordinated here. The uh, the green goes the green, purple goes the purple. So how does this work here? Okay, I had a look at the instructions up close. <laughs> so it looks like we're gonna pin this in like this, and then turn it in. So let's see if this works. So we gotta line up that hole, line up this hole. All right, and then like that. Same thing on this side. I think it's actually easier if you put this in first and then guide it in. And then you turn that in just like that. I think we're done. So let me bend his arms back down now. <laughs> so his arms are a little derpy, but I think it looks pretty good. It's a lot bigger, well, taller at least than the other one. All right, so that was really fun. Uh, these are really, really enjoyable to actually just build. It's really relaxing in a weird way. I really like that everything has a spot that it clicks into. Like, everything clicks into something. Everything does. Whether it's the tabs clicking into plastic, so there's a nice, satisfying click, or the pens are really satisfying. There's a big, you know, confirming click when you push those in. It's just 
really fun to actually sit there and build. Seems like all of them have the same chassis leg system, and there's just different shells that go on top. But just for fun, let's make sure we got everything right. So let's turn them on and connect them. And he's on, so let's see. <laughs> he looks hilarious, his little pincers flopping around. <laughs> okay, he's kind of cute. I'm... I don't hate him as much now. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see the video where I go over this guy, click the eye up there or check the description. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, let me know. And as always, have a nice day.